Hundreds of millions of people drink coffee every single day. But the question is, is coffee really good for you? And the surprising answer to this question is yes and no. Coffee is high in antioxidants and nutrients that body needs to function properly but at the same time is responsible for many of the side effects people tend to ignore. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal eight coffee health benefits and how you should consume it to avoid the side effects and extract all the benefits few people know about. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch the new video. If you need a line of appointment or quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com. And I encourage you to stay till the end of this video, where I'm gonna reveal extra tips and video links related to this topic. According to the National Coffee Association, more than 50% of US adults drink coffee every single day. And in the world, coffee is the second most consumed beverage after water in many nations. The potential benefits of coffee have been very well studied in recent years, and researchers continue to try to understand what coffee can do to your body. Coffee is high in caffeine, but it's also rich in antioxidants and contains micronutrients the body needs to function properly. It can benefit liver function, helps prevent diabetes, gives you more energy, and much more. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal eight coffee health benefits and how you should consume it to avoid side effects and extract all the benefits few people know about. Number one, coffee can improve liver function. The liver is an amazing organ that carries out hundreds of important functions. It filters blood, removes toxins from your food, builds proteins that circulate throughout the body, and much more. Many common diseases that primarily affect the liver, including hepatitis, fatty liver disease, and many others, can become serious health conditions if not treated properly. So it only makes sense that you try to help your liver with everything you can. I have an entire video on this subject if you want to check it out right after this episode. A study published in the Archives of Internal Medicine magazine showed that an increased coffee consumption on an everyday basis was associated with lower rates of liver disease or liver disease progression in people with hepatitis C. More specifically, there was a 20% reduction in alcoholic liver syndrome for every cup of coffee a day. There's other research that suggests how coffee can also protect you against cirrhosis. And in this category, researchers include alcoholic cirrhosis. People who drink four or more cups per day have an up to 80% lower risk of suffering alcoholic liver cirrhosis. Number two, coffee can help you fight off depression. Depression is a serious mental disorder that causes significant reduction in our quality of life. And many times people with depression don't really know they have this condition. I know a lot of people who feel you know, kind of blue all the time and what they really have are symptoms of depression. Coffee is known for boosting energy in most people who drink it and apparently also affects depression in people who have it. A Harvard study published in 2011 states that women who drank four or more cups of coffee per day had a 20% lower risk of becoming depressed. And a different huge study, by the way, involved more than 208,000 individuals found that those who drank four or more cups per day were 53 less likely to die from suicide. I find this study incredibly interesting. How coffee can lift someone's mood up and even prevent suicide is really unbelievable. Number three, coffee can lower the risk of certain types of cancer. Cancer is one of the worst leading causes of death. It comes in second after heart disease, which is terribly common. This disease is characterized by an uncontrolled growth of cells in the body, and coffee appears to be protective against especially two types of cancer, liver and colorectal cancer. Liver cancer is the third leading cause of cancer death in the world, while you know colorectal cancer comes in at fourth. Coffee has been known for years now to be liver protective. Many studies have been done you know, to prove this, and studies show that coffee drinkers have up to a 40% lower risk of suffering liver cancer. And very similar to this, a one very large study with 489,000 people, researchers found that those who drank four to five cups of coffee per day had a 15% lower risk of suffering colorectal cancer. Someday, I personally wanted to conduct a study about the use of coffee enemas. There's little data about the use of coffee enemas in cancer, which I know to be very effective. Who knows, maybe we can discover something terribly helpful. Number four, coffee can improve physical performance. Coffee obviously contains a lot of caffeine, 
which stimulates the nervous system, signaling you know, fat cells to break down that body fat. And caffeine also increases epinephrine and norepinephrine, or adrenaline levels in the blood, activating the fight and flight response that prepares your body for that intense physical activity. Given these effects, caffeine can also improve physical performance by 11 to 12% on an average. What it does is make fatty acids available for that cell metabolism and energy production, making the body ready to improve that physical performance overall. And this is why it makes sense you know, to have a strong cup of coffee half an hour before going to the gym or exercising. Number five, it can help you burn fat. Caffeine, which is the main component of coffee, is found in almost every commercial fat burning supplement. And for a good reason. Caffeine is one of the few natural substances proven to aid fat burning, and weight training professionals use it to tone muscles, and people who need to, you know, lose weight use it very much. Several scientific studies show that caffeine can accelerate your, your metabolic rate by an average of 3 to 11%, but some studies have seen that it can increase fat burning as much as 10% in obese individuals and 29% in people who have regular weights. And like many things in the body, it's possible that these effects diminish if you drink coffee for a longer period of time. So make sure you do intervals. Number six, coffee can lower the risk of diabetes. I've said this before, diabetes has become a disease of epidemic proportions. Millions of people are falling into diabetes every single year, and the truth is that there are many things you can do about it before this happens, and consuming coffee is one of them. For some reason, unknown to science at this specific time, coffee drinkers have a significantly lower risk of suffering diabetes. Many well-renowned publications you know, say that people who drink coffee on a regular basis have a 23 to a 50% lower risk of getting this disease. And one study shows a reduction of almost 67%. So if you have a history of prediabetes, metabolic syndrome, or you have a relative that suffers from this disease, coffee might be able to help you. The best type of coffee is that freshly grounded organic coffee you can drink anytime during the day. Number seven, coffee is one of the biggest sources of antioxidants available. For people who eat that standard Western diet, coffee may be one of the healthiest beverages available. And I say Western diet because Japanese and Chinese cultures, as opposed to us, have the custom of drinking green tea and other spices with excellent antioxidant activity. Coffee is quite high in antioxidants, and studies show that a lot of people get more antioxidants from coffee than they do from fruit and vegetables. As a matter of fact, coffee may be one of the healthiest beverages on the planet. Number eight, improves energy levels and can even make you smarter. Believe it or not, coffee is proven to make people smarter. And you know, what it does is increase brain function by increasing their energy levels. Caffeine is the most popular psychoactive substance in the world. After we drink coffee, caffeine is absorbed into the bloodstream and travels to the brain. In the brain, caffeine blocks an inhibitory neurotransmitter called adenosine, and when this happens, the amount of other neurotransmitters like norepinephrine and dopamine increase, leading to that greater firing of neurons. This effect found in coffee improves many aspects of brain function, including memory, reaction time, mood, vigilance, and even general mental function. And this is why people unconsciously use coffee to study. It literally makes you smarter. Help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or an online appointment, visit drlanivar.com. And I suggest you check out those other videos related to this topic. You're gonna to find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.